Hi students, let us continue with the risk in project management. So in the previous video, I explained about the basic concept. What is a risk management? What is a risk and what is a risk management? And why it is important? What does it include? So now let us see the different risks that are present in the project management and how they are going to be deal. The first one is the plan risk management. Now let us see about the plan risk management. plan risk management the plan risk management it is going to be analysis and uh, decision making to implement risk management the first thing it is it is analysis analyzing and decision making to implement to implement risk management so the first thing the plan if you want to plan the risk management what are the risks that are involved in the project first you have to analyze the project and you have to make some decision to implement the risk management so next the stakeholders will be there the person who is going to be affected if you are implementing the project means the person he is maybe a manager he is maybe a customer he is anything the stakeholders will be involved in planning risk management because they are going to be affected if anything if risk that may be a positive or a negative impact that impact will be uh, has to be faced by the stakeholders also so we have to be involved those stakeholders also in the planning of risk management so uh, the different risks that may be affected by the stakeholders or any of the organization or the customer or the software engineering or schedule risk, schedule risk, cost risk, quality risk, scope risk. Resource risk, resource risk, customer satisfaction risk, customer satisfaction risk. So if you want to plan the risk management, you have to take care about these risks that are involved while the planning the project while planning the risk management not the project the while planning the risk management so these are the uh, quantities you have to be take care about uh, planning the risk management they have to schedule risk cost risk quality risk scope risk resources and customer satisfaction risk so this is about the plan risk management now coming to the next uh, risk in project management is the identify risk so next is identify risk so how they are going to identify the risk in the project so which risk has more probability of affecting the project that we have to be identify first so while dealing with the risk management they have to be check which risk has more probability more probability of affecting the project so which one is affecting the project we have to be check so that is the one way of identifying the risk so the information gathering checklist analysis uh, so how you are uh, going to be after identifying this uh, risk the information has to be gathered information gathering checklist analysis what are what are these two actually with the help of the information gather you are going to be identify the risk and with the help of the checklist analysis you are identifying the risk means before starting the project at the time of uh, requirements you have to make the uh, project means the 
requirements in an order means you have to make a checklist the checklist analysis if you make checklist uh, while doing the project means first i have to start this okay i complete after the completion of the phase, phase this phase i am going to start this phase after the completion of this phase i will go for the next phase so you have to be make a checklist so that uh, if there is any uh, risk that is present in the each phase that can be identified easily so this is a way you can identify the risk so first you have to take about which risk has more probability of affecting the project so that can you can be identified so and next you can identify it by using the information gathering or by using the checklist analysis okay now coming to the third one what is the third one the third one is the qualitative risk analysis qualitative means a quality product if you want to make a quality product so in for in developing the quality product also some risk will be available so what are the qualitative risk analysis the first thing is assess impact it is going to be assess impact and likelihood of the identified risk of the identified risk so next the risk management assessment with the help of risk not risk urgency assessment so this is about the qualitative risk analysis so still you are having the three risk uh, in project management let us continue with the fourth one what is the fourth one the fourth one is quantitative risk response risk analysis quantitative risk analysis so in the previous, uh, I explained the third one is the qualitative risk analysis. Now it is a quantitative risk analysis. The quantitative risk analysis can be identified by data gathering. Data gathering. So how much data that will be there uh, to develop a project? That is a quantitative means measuring. Okay, the data data gathering that you can be done by direct or diagrammatic with the help of diagrammatic using the some diagrams uml's diagrams you can measure the quantitative risk analysis or you can measure directly and probability distribution probability distribution next modeling techniques so with the help of this you can uh, measure the quantitative risk analysis that is present in the risk uh, project management and the fifth one so the fifth one is planned risk response planned risk response how it is going to be response the planned risk response the planned risk response first it eliminates the threats eliminate threats before they happen so starting before starting only you have to try to eliminate the threats so so that it uh, decrease the impact of threat next the positive risk or threat so in the plan uh, plan risk analysis if there is a positive risk or a threat is occur then it can be avoid transfer mitigate after that accept suppose it is a negative risk or opportunity is applied is observed opportunity you have to be exploit sorry this is a negative risk and this is a positive risk negative risk or a threat positive risk or op opportunity exploit share enhance so this is about the fifth one the planned risk response and the final that is a sixth the sixth one that is in the risks in project management is 
monitor and control risk monitor and control risk so here the risk assessment reassessment not assessment it is reassessment and the monitor and controlling risk how you are going to monitor and control the risk with the help of risk reassessment means the schedule regularly to identified a uh, new risk you, you always make some uh, schedule after completion of this again you have to be scheduled regularly so that you can identify any risks or uh, present in the while you are doing the coding like that so you have to always monitor by using re risk reassessment next next risk audit risk audit means examine the effectiveness of planned risk response so you have to examine the effectiveness of planned risk response and trend analysis trend analysis trend analysis is going to monitor overall project performance so this is how you are going to monitor and control the risk risk reassessment means you can reassess the risk by scheduling the regularly by you make a schedule on regular basis to identify the new risks risk audit examine the effectiveness of planned risk response whereas trend analysis is going to monitor overall project performance so these are the six uh, six risks in project management thank you